Hi, welcome to another Strappy Cloud video. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the steps to be able to point your cloud project to an external database. Now, there are some caveats that you should keep in mind. Running an SQL connection over public internet could impact performance. Keeping network latency in mind, make sure you choose a data center that happens to be closer to your cloud region. And most importantly, security is going to be your responsibility. And because you're managing your own database, there will be no support from our solution engineers. But with that being said, you might have a use case where it's important to have your Strapi Cloud instance point to your external database. But for most users, our default Postgres database is going to be your best choice because it has been optimized to Strapi Cloud. So let's start with the prerequisites. Number one, you should have a Strapi project locally that you have already pushed to the cloud. If you don't have a project started, I'll put a link somewhere up here to how to deploy your first Strapi project to the cloud. And lastly, you need to have your database credentials that we're going to use to point your external database to Strapi Cloud. With that being said, let's get started. As we mentioned in prerequisites, you need to have a local project running. Here I'm running version 4.9.0 locally. That's using the SQLite default database. I also have this project deployed to the cloud. And here I'm using the default Postgres database that's automatically set up for you when you create your Strapi project. Now let's take a look at my local project database JS configuration file. Under configs, if you take a look at the database.js file, you will have this provided automatically for you. If you are using an older version of Strapi, this might look a little bit different. So I would recommend that you update your version. And if you want to know where to find these settings, you could find it in our documentation. I'll make sure to put all these links in the description below, but your database.js file should look as following. This will make it very easy for us to point to our external database. Now, before we point to our external database, I do have a test post here that we could see. And the reason I left it here is because you're currently using the default Strapi Cloud database. When you point to a new database, this database will continue to exist. So if you want to revert back, I'll show you how to do that. And you'll see that you're not going to lose any data, but always whenever working with database, make sure you always make backups using our deeds feature in your cloud. So pointing to our external database is fairly straightforward. All we need to do in our Strapi Cloud account, change our environmental variables that have that database credential. In my use case, I'm gonna be using a database that is hosted on DigitalOcean, but you could just as well use any supported database that's hosted somewhere else. For instance, hosted on Amazon. So I'm going to navigate to my project I'm going to go into settings and we're going to work within our variables menu. Here, we're going to add all of our appropriate variables that have our credentials. Let's do that now. And here's the list of all the environmental variables that I'm going to add. Make sure to use your credential for the particular database that you wanna to point to. Once you added all your environmental variables, click save, scroll back to the top, go back to your deploys and click trigger deploy to redeploy your project. This is gonna go ahead and redeploy your project using the new environmental variables, which will point to your external database. You could click the eye icon to take a look at the progress of your deployment. We'll be back once this is done. While we wait for this deployment to finish, did you know that we have open office hours, Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. CST time? So if you wanna come say hello or have a question, join us on Discord. We'd love to have you stop by and say, hello. Now that our deployment is done, let's go ahead, click on deploys, click visit your application. I'm already logged into my application and I previously had data inside my database, just so you could see all my blog posts are coming from the external database. The most important thing to remember, if you are using an existing database that has data, make sure your schema in your cloud project matches your local project. If you wanted to revert your application back to its original database, all you would do is go into settings, make sure that you're in the proper project and go ahead on the variables, delete all the environmental variables that point to your external database. Once you removed all the variables, go ahead, click save, scroll to your deploys and redeploy your project. 
this is going to go ahead and redeploy your project and point back to your original Strapi Cloud database. Now that our deployment is done, let's go back to our Strapi application and refresh. And now you see my first test post that I had in my Strapi original database. So you could see we reverted back to our previous state. Now, if you have any questions, I'm going to link below to an article that summarizes this video. If that's something that you want to use as reference, if you have any questions, join us on Discord Monday through Friday. We have our open office hours at 1230 CST time where you could come in and ask questions or just generally hang out and be part of the conversation. And with that being said, as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.